have today, uh, obviously our Pegasus Touch 3D printer. That's a printer that we actually announced and launched our Kickstarter campaign last year. We ended up raising $819,000 on Kickstarter over the course of January. Since then, we've shipped over 800 units. And today, we're actually back at CES announcing more new products. Uh, the first thing that we're announcing today and actually showing off are our performance resins. And one of the really popular uses of our printer, it's a laser stereolithography printer. We're using a laser and curing a liquid resin. The really, really ultra-fine detail that you can achieve with the Pegasus is ideal for jewelers and dentists. So you can see you'll make a master, burn that out of the molds, and then be able to cast metal. So rings, dental crowns, surgical guides, things like that. We have a really nice flexible resin. This one actually has quite a bit of squish and give to it. The flexible resin, we see a lot of use on um, toys, a lot of interest from people that are making and prototyping shoes, things like that. Anything that needs to have that kind of flexibility, which is generally pretty hard to find in 3D print parts. The SuperVat, that's actually what we're most excited about. We've been working really, really hard for the past six months. Uh, as you know, and what a lot of people may know with the resin printers, you have to have a nonstick coating in order for the resin to release as you build the layers up. That coating is usually PDMS or Teflon. Both of those will actually wear out uh, relatively quickly, and that's a consumable cost. It's kind of a hassle to replace the vat. And what we were actually able to do is we've been spending a lot of time and money on R&D, and we've developed a material for the vat that actually lasts indefinitely. So we've tested it over a few hundred thousand print cycles. We haven't seen any degradation. Uh, and we should be shipping those at the end of the month, around you know January 31st, early February. Large portion of our user base, uh, at least half, this is their second 3D printer. They've bought a type of you know a filament printer and they found that, oh, this, this can do some really nice things, but the quality really isn't there. And they want the Pegasus because you can get these really, really fine details and you can actually have a relatively large build area compared to any of the other resin printers. Uh, uh, we have a few more things we're working on that we can't really talk about right now, but one product in particular that'll probably be announced summer, you know, Q3, Q4, uh, will probably be kind of a big shakeup for 3D printing. Quality seems to be the paramount concern for people. So 3D printers, a lot of people accuse them of, rightly so, of being very slow. It's not a, uh, a 2D laser printer that sits on your desk. What we actually found talking to customers last year was a big surprise to us. People can wait several hours, even 20 hours for a print, but what they want is just the, the highest detail, the highest detail possible. So now that we've, we're starting to deliver on that promise, you know, with the Pegasus, it's an 80 micron spot size. That's industry leading uh, resin printers that are shipping. Uh, the Phoenix printers that are going to be shipping with the 50 micron pixel size. Uh, quality is paramount. And then ease of use. We have an app store that's built into the printer. It connects to the internet, it connects to the cloud. You can download free models, you can buy models, you can sell models, and it works pretty similar to Apple's model in the sense that if I'm an artist and I want to protect you know, my art and not have an STL go into the wild and people copy it indefinitely, you can put it on our app store, sell it to people. They'll be able to buy a model that was previously you know, $1,000, two or three dollars, you download the model, it only works on your printer. So we see, we see some fun stuff happening in the content space too. And then the next focus is gonna be, I think we hadn't mentioned it yet, but the, uh, the Phoenix DLP printer. So we actually are previewing just some renders and we don't even really have a, uh, a prototype that we want to show people, but in the lab we've been doing a lot of testing and what we found, um, we have two new printers, $34.99 and $49.99. Those are both based off of the DLP technology, so using a projector. One of them is using a UV projector, ultra high resolution, extremely fast speeds. Another one's using a consumer projector, a little bit bigger build area due to the higher resolution, not quite the same build speeds. Um, those in the App Store are gonna be our immediate focus in the next couple months, but then yeah, some other uh, exciting stuff, just a uh, different type of 3D printing technology that we're